This week today on TFL Car, we're doing something just for fun and for your viewing entertainment. We're doing a whole week of mashups, and we're going to start out by mashing up virtually the Nissan Leaf and the new Chevy Bolt. Later on in the week, we're also going to take an interesting trip to Krusty Butt, no, make that Crested Butte, Colorado, where Nathan and Andre do some ice mashups, and we're going to end up this entire week of mashups with, well, let me show you. And that is coming up right now on the Fast Lane Car. Hey Nathan, check it out. What's new in this 2016 Nissan Leaf? Greater range. That and also a new screen here. So this says that we have up to 111 miles The EP on this says chart. 107. So that's impressive stuff. You know what it is? It's California. They give you a little extra power. You know, in real life, that means like 80. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. So shall we review this? We haven't done a leaf in a long time. No, we haven't. And let's, uh, let's take it for a quick little spin. You know what? They have a place down the street that has frozen bananas. Dude, I love frozen bananas. Yeah, me too. So here's the crazy thing about this, right? I was at CES not too long ago and Chevy actually let us drive, I'll be in the parking lot, the new Chevy Bolt, which will be a direct competitor to this. The Bolt. Yeah. yeah I, not I, Bolt, I, Bolt. B-O-L-T. B-O-L-T. <laughs> Bolt. <laughs> yeah. So the, and the biggest difference, of course, is that the Bolt, according to Chevy, has a range of 235 miles, which basically doubles this. Yeah, this... Right now it's showing 111 miles, but what, what Nissan says is that they've gone up to 107 miles. Meet the 2017 Chevy Bolt. Is it the holy grail? A car that is affordable and has range of more than 100 miles. Well, it was rolled out here in Las Vegas at CES. In fact, Mary Barra, GM CEO, was the one who brought it onto the stage. We're gonna take it for a ride. Sort of. I love the quietness of it. I love the torque. Um, yeah, the instant torque. Yeah, it's yeah, that, it's a lot of fun. The, the, the thing about electric vehicles is that no one's been able to crack the code on range and mileage together. Yeah. And Chevrolet, for the first time, will solve that equation. <clears throat> Over 200 miles is the estimated, is what we forecast, and the price, as you mentioned, under $30,000, inclusive of federal tax credits. And if you think about it, there's also state level, utility level, and a number of other incentives that can make the price even more attractive. And you're gonna sell it nationwide, not like a compliance vehicle in California. You know, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna start where demand is highest, uh, but we know there's gonna be a lot of demand for this vehicle, and we certainly plan on making sure that Bolt's available to any customer that wants it. The technology in the Bolt is next generation. So even though Nissan has improved this, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The Bolt stuff is just kind of the next generation above that. A lot more functionality. And keep in mind, I was in an early test mule so it was still camouflage and there wasn't a lot that, that I could glean from you know driving it around a parking lot. Right. But um, because crossovers are red hot right now, that one, even though it's the same basic architecture, front wheel drive, uh, battery is down low to give you that good low center of gravity, right? Right. It looks more like a crossover. Like a it has a higher roof. It has, has a higher roof. Yeah. 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 Which begs the question, why is it taking Nissan so long to update this, right? This has been around now I think almost five years. It's been around for a while. Yeah, it has been around for a while. So yeah. I think with you know Chevy coming out with the Bolt, it's going to force Nissan to up their game and you know come up with the next second generation of Leaf. For one motor design, uh, front wheel drive vehicle, um, and again a host of, of, of safety features. You know the thing that adds to the driving experience is the battery is completely flat low and it's of low center of gravity, almost. 50-50 weight distribution, all under the load floor. So as you get inside the vehicle, um, no step over, completely flat floor. So we actually have produced a B-size exterior car with a D-size interior. So when you, you get a chance to get inside the car and you see just how spacious and cavernous it is. That's pretty cool, huh? Bird's eye view? 
I love, and Nissan was one of the pioneers with this. And yeah, it's they just were the a, first, I think. Yeah, it's a really good system. Number one, we have a rear view camera mirror. And what that means is we have a separate rear view camera that now projects that image into the rear view camera. Yeah, and the cool thing that, of course, Nissan does is it shows you on the nav screen how far you can go with the amount of range you have. The interior has improved. It's still hard plastic in some spots, but they've improved some of the other materials and they've improved the screen. Um, and they've upped their game since it first came out. Remember oh, when, yeah. we had, when, we, when we drove it like three years ago, right? Charging took forever. Now we have different levels of charging. Yeah, I mean, for a small family or average size adults, they'll be fine back here. I, my head does hit up here as well. Um, my, my knees are clear of the seat, I'm sitting behind myself. It's not too bad. It's about the same as a Nissan Sentra. It has greater range. That's really the big story here. Greater range. 107 miles is really usable. I always felt that they were just a little under uh, having enough mileage to make people feel confident. Yeah, that's a really good point. If yeah. you're living here in California, that's something you can actually drive to work and back. Yeah, and even if you didn't have a charger there, as long as you're, you know, within, say, 35, 40 miles, it's a pretty good bet you're going to be able to go back and forth with no big problem. Now, i got to give it up to Nissan, right? They're only one of three companies that actually sell electric cars throughout the whole country. Throughout the whole country. country We're not yeah. just talking about California or, the, or other coastal Tesla, states. Tesla, Nissan, and BMW. And BMW, yeah. yeah so Tesla the... Model S, Model X, i3, and the Leaf. There are, I think, 11 electric cars you can buy in California, but those are compliance cars, right? Yeah. They're built to comply with the legislation here so that companies are forced to sell them, but they don't sell them throughout the rest of the country. So Nissan has been a pioneer in the electric vehicle. Hey guys, if you're interested in more reviews for 2016 vehicles, click on me and we'll bring you right to them because we got a lot. No, actually, Nathan, when they click on you, it's going to take you to a playlist of cats playing the piano. Cats playing piano. Yeah, and, and, and girls in bikinis, I think that gets a lot of clicks too.